introducing the world of work project at Tuxwood Community Primary School 2009 bringing careers to life. Our thanks to Unlimited for funding us Virgin Money City College of Norwich Career Source for Job Explorer Database Heffel Engineering Ecotech Saint and Swatham Colin Edwards Graphic Design Archant Print Nord Sea Football Club AES Careers Jennifer Weevil Filmers Last but not least Pete and his minibus Dawn and Barbara for looking after us and of course Tony our teacher <laughs> small companies and we grow them into much bigger companies. I'll go over and switch the lights on, Electro electricity will flow around and all the lights will come on. So can someone tell me where most of that electricity would have come from? Yeah? Power station? Exactly right, power station. And what do you think we get from the turbine once that happens? Uh, electricity. Electricity, brilliant. And what a lot of power stations use are things called fossil fuels. We need to reduce the amount we use and start using other and other fuels, ones that we call renewable energy. I'm going to concentrate on wind energy at because that's the one that really really makes a lot of sense for us in the UK. Now, turbines are a lot smaller than wind turbines, and they're, they're actually mounted at the top. So we don't need a big turbine, and we get out our electricity. So it's actually a very, very simple model. Well, your project for today, to make a model one, I don't expect you to make one with a 70 metre uh, blade span, well, we might come to that in the afternoon. Today's session is about the Job Explorer database and we're going to be using something called First Jed. The Job Explorer database is in your school, it's in your classroom, so you can use it whenever you need it. Basically what it helps you do is it helps you find out about careers that you might be interested in. So what we're going to do today is we're going to start by looking at the quiz that the Job Explorer database does. It's going to ask you what you would like to do. So would you like, to, we're just going to go through an example of one, okay? So can I choose you? So would you like a nine to five job? Sounds okay. Sounds okay. So we're going to tick sounds okay, right. Do you like to be on your feet all day? Not bothered, okay? So we'll tick that one, okay? Would you like a job where you meet lots of people? Yes. Definitely yes then on that one. Would you like to be self-employed? Okay, do you have any special talents for music? So click on the face that shows how you feel about the subject. So English, are we smiley or not so smiley? In the middle. In the middle, okay. Yeah. Maths? Um, what year that one? Yeah, smiley. Really smiley or just a bit smiley? Yeah. Just a bit smiley. This is asking about qualifications make a difference to what jobs you can do, as you all know, okay? Better exam passes mean that you'll have more choices when you get older as to what you do in a job. So hover over an exam level name to see a description. So what level of jobs would you like Jed to show? So do you want like really high, high level jobs which require degrees? Yeah. yeah. So we're going to go for that one. Okay, so this is some of the jobs that have come up for you, okay, because this is what you've chosen. So what Jed can do for you is that you might only know a few jobs and it can match what you like to do, what you're interested in doing and what, what qualifications you hope to get and it can match those two jobs that are particular to you. Okay, so what it can say is these are some of the jobs that it's come up with. So we've got our animal physiotherapist. Who would have, who would have thought of an animal physiotherapist? You would have done. 
Okay, so if we play the video, what Jed can do is it can play you a video of something you might consider doing in a future career. In the Norwich School of Art and Design, they have a, they have a special games um, degree. So, for example, you could study that locally. You'd then be able to find out about the job, how many hours you work, how much pay, what it's actually like to do it, listen to a video on it, save information about it, and go and find out further information. And JED is one of the programmes that can help you think a bit wider about what is actually out there in the world of work. Okay? Great. Those who haven't been here before, our stadium is called Carrow Road. My name is Roz and I'm a teacher that works here in the study centre and we're going to be thinking about jobs that people do at a football club. So this is the Norwich dugout and this is where the manager Paul Lambert will be. You have um, eight boxes, all right, in the middle of it it says jobs at Norwich City Football Club. So would you like to write steward slash security? Yes. Call it out if you right, call it out, what was it? Ticket sale. So we'll have a music man come DJ. What did it? Grounds man. Grounds man, yay. He sorts the pitch out, he cuts the pitch, he rolls the pitch. Well done, good one. Uh, where are we up to? Boys at the back, got another one? Um, the commentator. We've got tour guide. Lorry drivers? Have you got another one, you four? No. Oh, sorry. Um, children, I'd like to introduce you to four members of staff that work uh, inside the football stadium or at the training ground. Nikki Bennett. Uh, Nikki's a teacher who works in the study centre with me. Sam is an academy player. Tyree is also an academy player. Tyree, you've played in the reserves. Am I right in thinking that? And Sam, you have too? And this is Chloe Turner. Uh, Chloe works in the marketing department. I um, went to university to do a degree in primary teaching. I, I thought once you were a teacher, that was it. There was no other, no other choices. Um, and saw that there was um, a job advertised here for a um, tutor. Have you always wanted to be a footballer, Sam? Uh, yeah, I think ever since I was about well, eight, nine, I started really playing football. I got scattered when I was eight, playing, and I've been at Norwich since then. I wanted to be a doctor at the age of 10. Brilliant. And then when I was 11, um, I started playing for my school team. Then I went to Birmingham City, and obviously now I'm here. So, so I've only took off when I was about 11. What's the best thing about being a footballer? You're doing something that you love every day. Chloe, how um, that? I've been at Norwich City now for about eight and a half years. Um, I did my GCSEs, then I did my A-levels at Sproulston High. Went on to college. While I was still in sixth form, I heard a job advertised on the radio to work here, and it was in the tele sales department. A full time job come up in the ticket office as the customer service. Um, did that for a couple of years. Just over a year ago, a job come up in the marketing department as the events and promotions manager, so I went for that and got it. You want to be a policewoman? Yeah. Electrician. I got to work with animals like in the RSPCA. Mechanic. An archer. Um, a vet. Or a rugby player. Um, I want to be a beautician. I've got two. Two? Be DJ or a rugby player. Oh, I, I want to be a rugby player. 